What is up everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video and today uh, it's been a little bit It's been a couple of days since the last my GM video and I already got some people asking if uh, we're, we're done with my GM and no no not by any means are we done with my GM because I love this mode this mode is probably my favorite mode that they've ever had had in a WWE game but last episode I asked you guys I asked you guys who we should get and a lot of people, a lot of people decided Chris Jericho would be the best as we need a couple of bruisers. From what I remember, we do need a couple of bruisers. Um, let's see if there's anybody who I could end up getting. Uh, I guess this is all the people. Uh, we cannot get anyone from Raw. Oh, wow. They're just running people to the ground here. So, I mean, hey. It is a-okay. Uh, let's take a look at the legends. Take a look at the legends. I'm not seeing anybody we could get. If Goldberg does end up showing in um, AEW, then we can end up getting Goldberg. But as of right now, we cannot. Um, yeah, we got everything good to go. Um, but yeah, we're going to be watching three matches. I am very... I'm very hesitant if I want to get Moxley, because that's a permanent deal. That is a permanent deal, and he's a bruiser. Why not? Why not? I just bit the bullet there. Probably not the wisest decision, but let's take a look at our managed roster. So, we got uh, we got MJF, we got Adam Cole going, we got uh, Britt and Jade going. Uh, Jade is popularity 49. And then we got Darby... Oh, Darby is tag champs as well with Sting. Okay. And then we got Matt Hardy, Bobby Fish, Hater. Okay, so we have we have some rivalries going on. We have some rivalries going on. Um I'm thinking we can finish off. Both stamina's are pretty pretty good. Steel Cage. Okay. Oh, I that's cool. I didn't even realize that the max. Oh, so I guess they added it a bit. False count anywhere is now extreme with the quality boost maximum. Same with Hell in a Cell. Or, Hell in a Cell is very high, but the maximum is. Okay, that's, that's cool. I don't know if they actually added that before, but, you know, we'll throw them an extreme rules match. Women's title on the line. Um. He needs a grudge match with Bobby Fish. That's fine. What is Hell Spa 3? Steel Cage? Trying to find out. You know, how much is Hater at? Ah, oh, okay. Yeah. Let, let's do this. Steel Cage, granted. They're not going to like that all too much. So we will throw it middle. I think that's where worst comes into play. But Bobby Fish, Matt Hardy, they need something. Yep, throw men's stat on the line. Uh, we can, we're can. we definitely going to move some things around, but we got Jericho and we got Moxley. Um, I think not for... More so just moving forward, we're going to need some more heel bruisers. Um, but Jericho... I really need uh, Christian to win it here. I really do. Christian would be our best bet. And then, uh, I don't know. Let's go Young Bucks. Uh, actually, no, we need these guys. Okay, so. Stamina-wise, uh, throw them a tables match. Throw them a tables match. Do I have a power card of, uh, oh, okay. We can do this, too. Uh, false count anywhere, okay. Steven Opposing Brand, Double Cost, there's Power Cards, that's fine. Also, if I do ever need to uh, sign a free agent, then they're always going to be here, considering they're just free agents, you know, they're not huge. Um, but yeah, so, 
I think it'll be fine if I do it if I did ever end up doing that but okay we need Christian to win here and then uh, we can have I don't, I don't know I don't know <laughs> I no clue I, I went with this I got two people for really no reason but oh well, I needed Jericho and Moxley because they're both breezers uh, I don't know I'm thinking let's get, let's get some charity. I think yeah. Get some charity. Dude, we don't really have any other reason to be uh charity wise, granted money and stuff, but Nick, yeah, probably Nick. But that's an extra forty. That's an extra twenty thousand fans. My bad, twenty thousand. And if they do good, then you know we can boost some popularities. But yeah, um, should be good. We got a t tables match. I'm probably gonna throw the uh, card on there just to make sure that goes really good. Um, I s I think that's gonna do all right. I really do think that's gonna do all right, considering that it is a level three and steel cage. Um, I'm thinking good, great, maybe, um, finish that rivalry off so we can get some people, uh, so we can get some more women fighters. Um, I also, it has come to my attention that Gigi Dolan was also in AEW for a little bit, for, like, a cup of coffee, I guess, but, like, it's still possible. I know I'm rambling here, but I gotta drag it on a little bit, considering this is one episode in itself, um... We're gonna watch this match in the main event. Yeah, but uh, yeah. Let's do the tables. I don't know. With with the extra thing, I think this will be the main event. But um, I downloaded a bunch of people. I tried choosing the best different things. Um, so hopefully, when it comes to appearance, when it comes to all the appearances should be good, uh, but between appearances, their move set, all that fun stuff. Um, I don't, I don't know what their move set or entrances look like. Um, it's not like we're gonna be going through anyway. But I think we're good. I think we're good for WrestleMania Backlash. Um, we're going to confirm the booking, so I don't end up changing my mind. And we're gonna watch the opener in the main event. Um, I know we got some bets going on in the comments section. Uh, so. Let's spectate Britt Baker versus Jade Cargill for the AEW Women's Championship. Alrighty, and I'm not going to be commentating like a Michael Cole play-by-play, -play, but I'm just going to be a bit more loose than uh, what I normally am. I think Jade looks alright. Jade looks alright. Um, cool. We're going to skip this, though, because I'm kind of curious on what Britt actually looks like. Um... Yeah, Brit looks pretty good. There we go. Brit looks very good. That's nice. Good, good uh, creation. I think it was made by Iconic, 2K. Um, they did a good job. Cool, cool. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm not gonna be doing a play-by-play kind of like I did last time. Uh, we're just gonna be chatting. I'm gonna be chatting, talking to you guys a little bit about the series as uh, this is Extreme Rules match. So there you go. Um, but yeah, so with the AW My GM, um, when it comes to uploads and such, um, you're going to be expecting a universe mode every Monday. You're going to be expecting some My GMs throughout the week. Um, I want to start up God mode. I do want to start up God mode, in which um, I'll be facing Roman Reigns on quote unquote God mode. And I'll be doing a mi little bit of a mini series and do that until on the hardest difficulty with the sliders, all adjusted and all that. Um, so yeah, I think I think that could be a lot of fun. Um, but yeah, between that, between some other stuff we got going on, the channel has been blowing up, and I'm absolutely super grateful for everything. Um, but yeah. You guys can go follow me over on Instagram at LEWPickFed. Um, within a couple of months, depending on if this overtakes my main channel and subscribers, then I might turn that to Powerbomb Inc. Um, 
but who knows? I mean, we'll see. Um, but as of right now, uh, I did cut the profile picture in half, so you'll see the typical Powerbomb Inc. profile picture halfway through. Um, so you guys know that it's me. Um, but yeah, if you guys go over there, you follow me, you message me, DM me, whatever, I'll be sure to message you guys back because I, I want to have this connection with you guys, you know. Um, that's why I, I'm always... I like as many comments as I can. I try, um, I try commenting back to you guys just for the support of the channel because I have no reason not to right now. Um, but yeah, I'm having a lot of fun just bringing you guys content. That's Jade doing push-ups in the middle of the ring. Wow, double taunting. Um, but yeah, so last series uh, we had it. It was a bit more like actual show wise but since I've already got like a universe mode I don't want to have like my typical universe mode and then like a my GM universe uh, but yeah so we're just gonna be sitting here uh, we're gonna be watching some of these matches and these crowd signs it said how wet is your hair or something like that I don't know yeah why is your hair so wet okay great use of paper <laughs> Um, but yeah, WrestleMania Backlash, I'm excited, uh, draft, comment down below what you guys thought about the draft, the draft I thought was pretty cool, um, I think that WWE could definitely use a lot better with, like, GMs, like what they did in 2002, but, uh, maybe that's just me, even 2016 they did that, uh, but, I don't know, it just... It brings a bit more of connection with the fans, you know. You have a my, you have a GM in itself, like Eric Bischoff and Stephanie. It feels more competitive between the two brands. But, oh, Jade from the top rope, and now she's taunting once again. But yeah, um. With the universe mode, I did... There are some great creations. Uh, or great sort of things. I saw from a symbol wrestling show on YouTube. That's a guy I follow. And he talks and he shows off some creations in 2K23. He did it 2K22. I'm pretty sure he even did it for 2K20. But um, apparently there's a fight pit. There's a fight pit that someone made. Um, which you could be seeing that come into the universe mode because I do have a couple of ideas I wanted to do a fight pit with uh, if you watch the recent universe mode you guys would be able to understand what I'm talking about here but spoilers for uh, my universe episode 3 uh, Matt Riddle defeated Seamus and Ricochet so I was thinking maybe we could do uh, Riddle versus Gunther in a fight pit I think that could be cool uh, but yeah it definitely could be uh, some fun. Just messing with that. I'm pretty sure they just use like chamber pods all the way around and then uh, like tables on top. I don't know. But um, yeah, so stuff like that. So people are so creative when it comes to the community creations. Uh, but back to the match here. German suplex on the concrete floor. And now back to the push-ups. <laughs> um... I'm kind of hoping, uh, um, hoping Britt Baker wins, um, just because she's the specialist, and I think it'll be a bit better pairing her up with, like, Soraya or with Hater and all that, but hopefully we can get some more fighters. Cover. Two. Only a two count. Okay. Only a two count, and Jade's pretty furious, pretty furious. Um... But yeah, uh, I think a big reason as to why, like, the My GM mode series last time kind of, I don't know, it was really taking a toll on me, considering that last time we had so many different technical issues, or, like, it, it started glitching out, or whatever, so now I'm a bit more on top of things, like, now I have a bit of a grasp, because a big reason as to why my mic was so delayed and even it was delayed during AEW like this series on episode one and episode two was because of 
my headphones. My headphones needed to be like fully charged. So what I'm going to be doing in between, you know, up uh, recording, I'm going to be charging up my headphones quite a bit. So they shouldn't have an issue. And I'm going to cuz this time I started it and I did really well. I or oh, you know, landed if you go back and watch this, what I did was I I started up, or I turned on the mics and everything before even starting up the MyGM, or the Twitch after loading into the MyGM. I'm sure you guys don't even care about this, but this that was just a little hint for me later on, just in case I'm like, oh no, I, I forgot how to do it or whatever. But yeah, that's what I did. I just turned on the mic and everything before even getting Twitch set up. And then once I got Twitch in, you check the laptop, make sure everything's on point. Um, but yeah. This match is taking a little bit. It's taking a little bit, but, you know, um, I didn't want to just stop doing these matches because I'm sure some of you guys enjoy the matches. And if you don't, if I don't see anybody saying I enjoyed the matches, then for then I'll just do, like, the entire build-up and a pay-per-view. But I'm pretty sure some of you guys like the matches and, um, like, betting on them and stuff like that. So I want to bring some matches to you guys, but... That's what I'm going to be doing, too, during the pay-per-views, considering the entire build-up, you don't get a match, but you get four weeks, and then during the pay-per-view, it's just the pay-per-view, and then with two matches, you get to watch. So, um, yeah, uh, if you guys like the old style where I was sitting there commentating, or if you guys like this style, um, let me know in the comments. I know I'm asking you guys to let me know in the comments for quite a bit, but... Yeah, I'm um, hopefully should be getting a uh, face cam soon because I want to get like full blown PC and setup and all that. I'm running this through my Xbox as we speak. It's not like running it through a PC, but I do want to end up getting a PC. Uh, and yeah, so I could fully get like a webcam and I can get some other stuff so I can try being really professional with this. And um, Maybe some other games. I could do end up some other games. Maybe not just strictly wrestling, but I know this is the content you guys like, so. Wrestling games is the main factor. Just waiting for Brett to lock in the lockjaw. Oh. Big super kick from Brett. I can't get over how good of a creation that is. Like, the bread looks very good. Very good. Um, and I'm not the biggest fan of Jade Cargill, but, like, I can respect her. And, like, watching AEW television, she's been doing pretty good for herself. Two count? But, yeah, man, I really like uh, red and white gears. Like, the ones the Usos came out to. Comeback time, though. But yeah, the ones the Usos came out to at WrestleMania 39. Um, I really like those gears. I really like those gears. So next year, when they come out, hopefully we can get um, those gears for the Usos. Follow up with tie up as Jade takes Brit to the ropes. <laughs> okay. Well, ow, that's gotta hurt. Um, but yeah. Oh, wow. Jade won off of that. Good thing I wasn't commentating or wasn't fully paying attention. Jeez. I mean, yeah, yeah. Jade won. Giant, so. We pr wow. Four and a half or. I don't know if that was the best call to, for me to put the tables in the main event then. Because it's going to at least have to be a four and a half. Granted, robbery complete. Okay. We got some 5,000 fans there. Simulate MJF versus Adam Cole Bay Bay. MJF defeats Cole. Okay. Oh, well, robbery grows though. Two and a half here. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So we, right now we got 9,000 then. Okay. Bobby Fish, three star, going up to level two. Okay, eight thousand. There we go. So we got 
Uh, we got 17,000 extra fans. Steel Cage. I'm hoping this does all right. Three and a half. At least. Four star. Okay, good. Good. Amazing. That's good, though. Okay, so we got 21,000 fans. Cool. Cool. Oh, bro. I I didn't mean to. Ravry goes up level 5. Or, yeah, level 5. No, level 3. Uh, goes up to 5 star legendary. Um, so, I mean, we, we did have some good showings. I didn't mean to simulate there. Because um, I actually kind of wanted to watch that. I wanted to see Darby's render and entrance and then uh, some other stuff. But, but for the opener, we did good. We did good. Uh, we had the best opener. Uh, first mid card or second match of the night. We ha we or we had second for the third match. We tied for second for the fourth match. We had the best, and for the main event, we had the best. That's good. That's really good. Um, Saray has a really great feel for steel cage matches. Okay, one hundred sixty nine thousand minus forty seven thousand. We did sign John Moxley though. That's a big reason as to why our money went down quite a bit. 149, so 135. 118. Does that mean we're in the lean? That means we're in the lead. Let's go. Okay, good. Good. Um, we still have the highest budget. Uh, that's really helping us, though. So, yeah. A big reason as to why we ended up being in the main event? No! Uh, it's only two of them. Uh, I'm the best. It's that simple. Yes. Well, the numbers don't lie. Okay, whatever. Wait, why? Nick? Oh, crap. I don't want you leaving. Women's title, your heel bruiser. You're right. Okay, you're right. Yes, shake-ups. Okay, good. Good. Okay, um, triple threat matches cost superstars less stamina. That could be pretty good. Uh, whenever you complete a commission or goal, you have a chance to earn a random extra power card. That could be good. So we have the chance to get two power cards for the rest of the season. I think I'm going to go with the gold. The gold is gold for a reason, although the triple threat matches superstars less stamina. Um... I don't know how often I plan on actually having uh, triple threat matches. Free agency. As we always look at this. I'm not seeing anyone on here. Okay. Uh, Legends. Not seeing anyone. Okay. Well. Uh, Robbery wise. We're um. We're all right. We kind of got screwed out a little bit, but it's fine. Um, no one's really side eyeing me or like angry, which is good. That's good. Uh, power cards though. Cheat code. Let's see if they picked up anyone before we could. They did not. Uh, what about WC Derby? Gable, but we can't pick him up. Um. Well then, um, four weeks till Extreme Rules. Tomorrow you should be expecting. Yeah, tomorrow you should be expecting a, the entire build up to Extreme Rules, and then tomorrow's Thursday, so Friday you should be expecting Extreme Rules. Um, but yeah, thank you all for watching. Uh, make sure you go down below. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Have a good day. Have a good night. Whatever time is for you, and goodbye.